Now, to connect up the ESCs uh, and the power distribution board to the receiver, there's my little 6-channel RX6R receiver. That's what I'm using. You could get away with a 4-channel. We get this cable here, and if we look at the diagram here, uh, starting from the bottom, we have 5 volts ground, throttle left and throttle right. So the plug goes in that way. So you can see there were two throttle wires coming through here. Um, so you, they come all the way through to the, the plug here. Uh, so that means that you could separate those two and put them into separate channels if you want a differential thrust, but we'll stick with um, not having dif differential thrust for the moment. So that plugs in there. This plugs into the throttle channel and this one is the aileron channel. And then rudder and elevator come through the fuselage straight into the receiver like that. And then we have that is the little uh, razor camera on the nose that plugs into the power supply uh, coming off the front of the ESC unit there. So we'll just plug all of those things in. Video transmitter is up in this little hatch here. That is sort of lightly glued down but you can just sort of pick it out to get access to uh, the video transmitter and there's the push button there to change channels or change powers or whatever you need to do. And we also get a couple of foam plugs, one to replace the camera if you're not going to use that one there or if you want to mount the camera up on the top uh, you can glue that little bit of foam mount up on there or on there or wherever you want to. And I've just realised what these little pieces of double sided tape I think it is are used for, you can pop them on this top canopy here to glue it down permanently. And I've just realised something else, that's where you bolt the wing on with the uh, coming through the top canopy there, top hatch, a couple of nylon screws going down into the body. We do get counter rotating props to pairs and they are just a press fit, just a friction fit onto the little shaft, uh, just a little central hole there. So we just push the prop firmly onto the shaft I think. I assume they're going to rotate inwards but we'll find out as soon as we fire it up. I've just plugged in a 2S2500 which is probably too big for it. It'd be worth trying I suppose. It'd be good if we could use 18650s. And I have. And unfortunately the motors rotate out so I've got to swap the props. So swapping over the props spin out at the top just to confuse us. And it is not that easy getting these things on and off. Yep, thrusting the right way now. Check the control surfaces. Hello. So I've got all the control surfaces going the right way. I did have to reverse the ailerons and the elevator to do that, but uh, have a look at this. We've got a stripped servo, unfortunately, on the right, right aileron. That's annoying. I still be able to fly it with that. You can't fly with just one aileron. And that will be that'll be okay as long as I don't go extreme. Nah, that's annoying. So that's all ready to fly now. Um, it I tried it with a uh, 2S18650. It kind of does fit in there, but it's way too nose heavy. We really need a, a recommended battery is a 3S750, which I don't have with me, so I'm going to have to come up with another solution. 
I wonder if I can get away with with that. No, it's just not going to fit, unfortunately. We really do need a small battery. Alright, so I'll source a small battery, uh, but that is ready to rock and roll. Uh, and apart from the stripped aileron servo, the rest of it is looking pretty good. I do need to stick that down somehow. I need to um, select the correct channel on the video transmitter for my goggles. And we can take it for a fly.